day one of my birthday trip to miami so this is me getting ready at six for a 12 o'clock brunch had to leave early to make sure i get all the girls and this was my first stop and i got some flowers i don't know about you but i love getting flowers like i feel like i'm that bitch when i get flowers this was the vehicle after one stop and four girls it was six of us in total so imagine how we were cramming with the luggage we arrived at the satai because that's where we had the brunch reservation janelle was the last stop and she had to get changed for the brunch because she was coming from the airport so we all went to the bathroom so she could get changed so now i can introduce the girls this is janelle she's been my roommate since college she's followed by sash who i currently work with and then there's bees she's been annoying me since high school she's followed by divan who is my cousin she almost took that man out and then there's tiff who i met through sash we got seated then she started pouring my cup was empty every five seconds so for those who don't know it's 105 per person for an all you can eat buffet style brunch for two hours which wasn't bad to me because I spend way more on that on my solo dates and that's capping off at like three drinks. I didn't record everything that I ate but it was definitely over 105. And seeing that it was my birthday, they set up this dessert platter and I blew up the candle. I wasn't even going to take dessert but the fact that they brought it to me, I devoured it. We were tired so I contacted the host for the Airbnb and she said the Airbnb was ready so we were able to check in early. So this was the dining room area. It's an open concept so the kitchen is right there so is the living room and I think that's their dedicated office space over there and this was the half bath. It was five bedrooms total and this was Devon's room. They got to pick a room based on the order in which they confirmed they were attending. So this was Sash's room. She was first pick so this is the one she chose and she shared with Tiff because that's her cousin and it was only five bedrooms and six girls. And this was my room, so this is the room that was left after everyone chose a room, so this is the one I stayed in. I didn't care which room I stayed in as long as everyone else was comfy. So moving on to the master room, Bees end up having this room, she was the fourth pick, so it was between that one and the one that I stayed in, so she chose this one. Then we have the fifth room, which technically was the third pick, and Janelle chose this room. And it was the only room on the other side of the house. Anyways, moving on to the outside, there goes Janelle. They had a pool table, a foosball, among other games and activities to do outside. They had a pool. I think it was salt water and heated. So moving on to, I think that was the right side of the house. They had a whole gaming setup with mini golf. That thing that you throw the sand in the hole. I don't know what it's called, but it was real cute and I really liked it. After touring the house, I took out the gift bags for the girls and they wanted me to give a speech. If y'all know me, I don't take nothing seriously, but I did for a solid 20 seconds and welcomed them to Miami formally. Then they wanted me to present the bags. Like, y'all wanted a little too much out of me. Like, I'm sick and tired of all y'all. But they love their gift bags, so like, I'll let it slide. I did not realize I forgot my shoe until about 5 minutes before we left. And the restaurant does not want sandals after 3 p.m. Thankfully, there was a Ross and Rainbow close by, so we divided to try and conquer. In a normal day, this would not have left the store, but it was the best of what was there. And I really didn't care about the shoe. I was more concerned with having a good time with my friends, so I didn't care what it was. We were already late, so I had to dash across the street to enter the restaurant so they could know, like, bitch, we still coming. The reservation was for Sexy Fish, which is a Japanese-style restaurant. And let me just say, if you're a chicken nuggets, fried burger eating type of bitch, don't go there. And I thought that it was cute that Janelle had a fish for her purse, seeing that we were at Sexy Fish. But the ambiance was beautiful. I really enjoyed it, especially as the time got darker. The entertainment we saw online was why we chose this restaurant. However, our reservation was too early, so we did not get to see it, but it is what it is. As for the food, we did the spice experience. Some of the things I liked, some I did not like. But I'd go back for an individual experience to order what I want because this was a table experience so everyone from the table was eating the same thing. And as I stated earlier, some of the things I liked, others I didn't. And it's not to say it was terrible, it was more so it wasn't for me. After dinner, we had the pajama party and considering we just ate, we only threw a few snacks on the table. They wanted to do a toast and take a shot from me in this hardship glass because I have a piece of their heart, yeah. And you will be able to clearly identify the drinkers and the non-drinkers because what? I was laughing at some of the faces I saw after each shot because this was your idea. You're not being forced. Why are you torturing yourself? But I get to rewatch these videos and laugh at their behind because no one forced you. Now, this is how you take a shot. It's juice. My liver hates me. I promise. <laughs> after the speeches, we started with a mess. We played games. We sang. We danced. And we had a good time. A lot of people say group trips don't survive in Miami, but it's honestly up to the people.